All right, let's start our journey into the world of SAS with variables. And in CSS, you often find yourself writing the same color or font or size various times throughout your code. And there's no way to just define that color or size just once and then reuse it throughout your code. And that's exactly what variables can do for us in SAS. So let's dive right in and create our first variable. And we're gonna do that right at the top of our SCSS file. And we're gonna start by typing a dollar sign. And then we can just type in any variable name we want. So let's say we wanna define a text color for which I'm gonna choose a dark gray color in this case. And then end this statement with a semicolon as always. Now the convention for these SCSS or SAS variables is to have the variable names all lowercase and you can separate different words by a dash. That's not required, but that's the convention that you may also find useful. So now let's see how we can use that variable. So inside our body selector, let's just say the color is supposed to be text color. And that's it. So now our SAS preprocessor will fill in the correct color for us, which in this case is this dark gray color. And we can just save this and then we can look at the output in our CSS file right here. And there we can see that indeed our color has been filled in correctly, while the variable itself is nowhere to be seen because there are no variables in CSS itself. So now we could use this variable in various places in our code, and it's always gonna to refer to this one value that we assigned to it. And this also means that whenever our desired text color changes, we can just make that change here right at the top of our file, so these variable declarations at the top of our SCSS file become a powerful configuration point for us, because we can change all the main values by just looking at the top of our file and then setting our variables to our new desired values. So let's look at the whole process again and create another variable. And in this case, we're not gonna save a color, but a dimension instead. So let's say we wanna save our header height in a variable and we're just gonna assign 60 pixels to it. So we can save arbitrary values in our variables, such as colors, fonts, sizes, or something like that. So it's a very flexible way to store all these values. Now let's go ahead and use that variable in our header selector. So we're gonna say height is supposed to be header height. And now let's save this again and look at our CSS file. And now you can see that the header selector has been inserted here as well, while all the other selectors that are still empty don't even appear here because the preprocessor is intelligent enough to just filter all of those out. They would just make our CSS file unnecessarily big. All right, so that's also correctly inserted here. So this is a really powerful way to make your designs more flexible and more configurable by just having all your variables in one place and being able to just set new values if you want to. So that way you can easily change the colors, fonts and sizes for your whole website by just setting these variables. Now I hope you see how powerful this is and you can try this out for yourself, create some more variables that you think could be useful. In fact, we're gonna extend our set of variables that we just defined in the coming lecture to see when exactly we can use variables and how exactly we can use them in bigger projects while still keeping our code highly flexible and also highly readable. All right, so that's already all for this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.